Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us here on another video. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to create alerts in the Thinkorswim trading platform. And if you haven't been here before, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading and we make videos just like this on a consistent basis where we talk about the stock market and options trading. If you'd like to learn more, consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future content. I would like to welcome back all of our subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We enjoy making them and I hope you enjoy watching them and I hope they're beneficial to you and you're getting some good information out of it. All right, guys, let's jump right in. We're talking about uh, creating alerts in the Thinkorswim trading platform. So let's start out with something simple. Let's just say we wanted to make an alert anytime the price were to uh, cross above a certain point. So let's say, for example, we're looking at Boeing. We wanted to uh, create an alert anytime that that price were to jump up above that recent high of 394.28, somewhere in that range. So we're gonna come in here and right click on the chart. You can, you're gonna see that it's gonna open up a little menu here for us. And we scroll down here to the menu about three quarters of the way down. You'll see a little, a little uh, option here that says create alert. We'll click on that box and this is gonna give us uh, our options here to create the alert. So again, we're looking at Boeing. It's gonna automatically populate that in there. Uh, we're gonna wait for the market price to be at or above. And here's our price. So we could put whatever we wanted to in this window. So if we wanted to be a little more concise and we wanted it to be above 394.28, we could dial that down. We could put it wherever we wanted to. So let's say, uh, we wanted it set at 394.57, whatever that's going to be. And all we got to do now is hit create alert. Now you can see right over here on the right hand side, it put a little arrow. Now that's my alert. So anytime that this stock price comes up and it comes up above this little arrow here, it's going to give me an alert. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to set that up where you can just have an, a, a little arrow right there on your screen. Because when you normally, when you first start, uh, putting alerts on your screen, it's going to start looking something like this. And I don't know if you guys are like me. I like to have my my charts pretty clean. I don't like them all cluttered up with a bunch of indicators and stuff. I mean, you can't even see the price movement if you got so much stuff on your chart. So to set it up where you get that just a little arrow, um, you come in here first. You got to click this little gear icon. You come in here right here in the in the first menu under general under alerts right here where it says show alerts you're going to click show arrows only now while you're in here also click this little arrow right here because that adds it to your shortcut menu so i've already have that click so when i click apply okay you can see that that has just now made this little arrow in here and when i also come up here to style it gives me that option to uh, pick uh, show alerts or show arrows only. So if I hit show alerts, it's going to put that on there. Now, if I come in here and just go show arrows only, it's going to put it back over here off to the right. So that's how you set that up. That's how you set up that little shortcut menu. Just do what I did right there. Uh, okay. Now let me show you guys how to set up some alerts with drawings. So let's just, uh, let's cancel that alert so that we don't get an alert on uh, Boeing. So let's say for an example, we have some trend lines drawn on the chart. Uh, here on Boeing and let's dupli duplicate that so we can draw a trend line up here on the top let's just say for example we got a trend line there nothing nothing fancy right um, you know we're just goofing around drawing trend lines on the chart we wanted to be alerted anytime Boeing broke down below this trend line so let's say for example we right click on that trend line and we're going to scroll down here to where it says create alert with drawing. Now it's going to pull up that same menu again. Now it's going to give us the option, not, not based on price anymore. It's based on that drawing. So we can click uh, crosses below or above. So we want to go crosses below and we're going to hit create. Now you can see what it did is it just added that line on here, that, uh, that alert along this line that's going to alert us anytime Boeing trades down below this line we're going to get an alert right there and it's going to send that to our phone or our email so that we don't have to sit here in front of the charts and look at the charts all day long don't get me wrong guys i love looking at charts i love sitting here looking at charts i could watch the markets all day but 
you guys know we got stuff to do. We got stuff that we need to do with our families. We got stuff that we need to go out and, and, you know, run some errands or something. We, we can't be sitting here. I mean, we can, don't get me wrong. We can, I mean, I could justify it. Right. But we need to have uh, some help to help us manage or help us to see these different uh, price action in the market. And these alerts can help us do that. Uh, so again, you can just, all you got to do is right click on that, uh, come down here, create alert with drawing. Now this time it's going to be cr uh, crosses above. We're looking for a breakout. So anytime Boeing crosses above this line right there, we're going to get that alert and then we can trade that breakout if that's something that we're looking at. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and clear these drawings off. We're going to clear the drawing set off. Uh, it's going to keep those alerts on there, but we're going to go ahead and X those out. Um, I'm going to show you guys, if you guys use Fibonacci like I do, I love using Fibonacci. So if you come in here and you draw a Fibonacci uh, chart or a Fibonacci a tool on here, let's say, for example, we were wanted to trade this uh, if it broke out above that Fibonacci retracement right there of 786. So we'll click on right click on that. We'll hit uh, create alert with drawing. You get, you're going to see right here, it's going to auto, automatically populate in there. This is going to be crossing above the Fibonacci retracement of 786. So now when we hit create, boom, it just puts it right there on that line. I think that's so cool. It helps us to uh, be able to, to keep track of all these things. And so you could set these up on multiple charts. You know, let's say, for example, uh, you know, you're, you're trading something else and you wanted to uh, now trade Amazon. Uh, well, that alert's still going for you there on on uh, on Boeing. So now you can come in here and do the same thing on Amazon. So if you have like five or six stocks that you're waiting for uh, that price action to hit, um, you can set up those alerts and then set it and forget it. Walk away and and just wait for those uh, those price actions to hit, and then you come in here and you make your trades. Anyway, guys, so let me show you guys some other things here. So. Um, I want to show you guys some how to set up some alerts for orders. So let's say, for example, you know, I like to trade a lot of iron butterflies, um, but I like to sometimes manage those iron butterflies as they get closer to uh, being taken out of a trade. Usually I like to take those trades off about 25% of max profit, somewhere in that range. But sometimes I don't want to take the whole trade off. I just want to close the inside legs of that trade because the outside legs may be uh, worthless anyway and I don't wanna spend the commissions on doing that. So I wanna kinda manage the trade personally instead of letting the, the system do it. So I can come in here to, uh, let's say, go into my um, manage, or uh, my monitor tab and you can see that these are trades that I actually have on that are actually live and these are trades that are uh, that have closing orders set on them to take them out of the trade. So let's say for example, I wanted to manage this trade in EWW, um, but I wanted to be alerted a little bit before it came to my profit target. So I could come in here, right click on it and go create alert. And now it's going to give me the option to create the alert. So, so it's going to automatically populate it with what I already have in here. So you can see it $2.57 is what I had my, my uh, order set at. But let's say I wanted to be alerted a little bit before that. So I could dial this up to maybe 259, 260, somewhere in there. And I can hit create alert. Now I'm going to get an alert that when this trade right here is approaching that $2.60 mark, about three cents before closing, I can come in here and manage that trade manually if I wanted to. Otherwise, it's, you know, my trade's still on. I don't, if I can't come in here and manage it manually, well, I can just let it manually take itself out. But that's a way to let me kind of know, hey, you can go in here and manage it if you want. Uh, if not, no big deal. And just let it go and let it do its thing. So I wanted to show you guys how to do that. Um, your alerts, uh, your alerts are found under Market Watch. So if you come in here under alerts, here's where all your alerts are. It shows the ones that have triggered, the ones that are uh, still active, and you can toggle those back and forth. So these are all the alerts. These are the ones that were canceled. These are the ones that were triggered. Uh, everything, all your alerts, it'll show them right there what, what's been going on. If they're canceled, they're active. If you just want to look at your active alerts only or working only, these are all the active alerts. You can see uh, all the different alerts that we have set up. Some of these are alerts that I've set for a long time ago because I know price action is going to hit that point at some point. And I know that there's a lot of uh, buyers and sellers at that price level. So I've set those up 
um, set them and forget them and I'll get alerts now and then and I can come in there and see if it's something I still want to do or do a trade on those uh, on, a, on those stocks that uh, I've set those alerts up for. So kind of nice, kind of nice. All right, let me show you guys how to set up your alerts so you can get them on your cell phone, get them in your email. So if you come in here to setup, now if you come into application settings, you're going to open up this window right here. Now we're gonna click on notifications right up here in the top right hand or top left hand corner. So if you click on notifications, here is where we are able to set up our email and set up our cell phone in order to get those alerts. So, uh, of course, you're going to have to get those confirmed. So, Thinkorswim is going to send you an email. You're going to confirm that, and then they know that they can send that email to that email address, and that's a good email address. Same thing with your cell phone. Um, and then down here, um, this we get the option to pick what we get notified about. So, let's say, for example, if we have an alert set up and it's triggered, how do we want to get notified? Well, we can get notified by an email. If we wanted to be sent by an email, we could click that. If we just wanted a text message uh, during market hours or after market hours, we could click those on or off either way. Um, and then this little window over here tells us what's going to be sent in that text message or that email. So for example, uh, looking at right here, this is this is what the sample message is going to look like if i'm in the way there uh, that's what the sample message is going to look like so if we wanted to see what the uh, the closing price was we could click that and you could see that it populated that in there um, if we just wanted to see what the implied volatility was when that was triggered you know we could add that in there as well uh, so whatever we have chosen over here uh, it will it will do that or we can click all fields right there and it's going to send all that information to us but if we just want to know what the closing price was or what the last price was or the market price we can go ahead and just pick that right there so also let me show you guys again if we come back here on the chart when you click you know as we were setting up our alerts here before if we hit create alert uh, it also gives you the option on this window right here to do the same thing so if you click notify with sms you could do the same thing um, you could also click this button right here to play sound when you're sitting in front of your computer uh, you could do that right there and then also it gives you the options right here uh, what you would want in those text messages or emails also you can click options right there and then this will allow you to uh, you know when you hit the create button are, are you going to submit this? Is it going to submit it right now? Or do you want to submit it at a later date? Uh, do you want this to expire maybe in, you know, two weeks time? You, you know, you don't want that alert there, you know, in the system two weeks from now. So you can set that expire time. Um, different things there. So you can set uh, no alert, create an alert, uh, create regular alert. So you can set it up where it sets an alert and then if it crosses back over it's a silent alert but the alert still stays there so that if it crosses over it again it, it gives you that alert again so guys now i want to show you guys how to set up an alert for earnings and things like that so let's come over here and look in the uh, market watch uh looking at market watch you can see that we can see here different earnings whatever we have picked here on the left hand side whether that's earnings conference calls or whatever that's going to populate in the calendar here we can filter that by uh you know maybe our our certain watch list that we have so we're not looking at every single earnings that's coming up uh so let's say for example we wanted to make a trade on nvidia on an on an earnings play on nvidia now when we click on these little um different days it'll populate that down here in the in the window so let's say we're looking at nvidia we're going to find nvidia here we right click on that we can hit create alert and it gives us the option to create an alert anytime for an event so let's say for an, for example we're looking at earnings you can see it populated earnings in there right there uh, we're looking at earnings and we want to be notified one hour before the event we can go ahead and create that alert and it's going to set up an alert so that it's going to remind us uh, when NVIDIA earnings is going to be announced and it will send us an alert one hour before so that we can come in here and look in it and see what we want to do if we want to make a trade on that. So guys, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I've enjoyed making this video. A lot of neat things that you can use in the Thinkorswim trading platform. 
uh, mess around with it, guys. Just right click, uh, start creating some alerts, and uh, set yourself up on alerts for emails and texts. And uh, it's kind of fun to get a little a little alert on a stock that you've been watching um, that's hit your price point, and you can come in here and you know make a make a decision at that point if you wanted to make that trade based on that alert that you set up. So I kind of like to set up alerts as I'm looking at different charts, um, going through different charts and things like that. And uh, maybe I'm, you know, looking at something and say, hey, you know, maybe if it, it's, if it hits this point, uh, maybe I'll look at making a trade. So I'll go ahead and quickly uh, create an alert at that point, you know, crosses at or above and hit create. It puts that alert in there. And, uh, and it obviously it just triggered right now because we were at that point that I, and I just got a text message that just showed it, um, that it triggered. So kind of cool guys. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Um, I've enjoyed making it. If you guys, uh, have any questions or comments, you have any other ideas of videos that you would like us to make, put them in the comment section below. Uh, we'd love to make you guys a video on some of the questions that you guys might have and if you haven't already consider subscribing we'd love to have you on board my name's kirk with tactical options trading have a good one guys we'll catch you later bye bye